everyone and welcome to my Waypoint Books Full Moon Subscription Box Catch Up video. I've been receiving Waypoint Books Full Moon Subscription Boxes for a while now and I have not been hauling them on YouTube for a while. I've done a few things on um, TikTok and also Instagram and things like this but I have not actually hauled some of the more recent books Hannah has sent me in the last couple of months on here. So what I'm doing today is going through the giant stack of books that Hannah has sent me that I have not hauled yet. So let's get into it. But before I get into this book stack I'm going to quickly tell you what Waypoint Books Full Moon Subscription Box is in case you don't know but it is a monthly subscription box that ships worldwide that is based entirely around your tastes and every single month Hannah will send you two books. The first one is one that you pick out of a list of three that Hannah sends you and the second one is a complete surprise but both of them are based entirely around your tastes and Hannah has quite frankly a psychic ability with this. I don't know how she does it but every Every single book she's ever sent me has been right up my alley and has worked so well for me and I will actually leave a link up above as well throughout this video to various different reading vlogs that I have done with some of the books Hannah has previously sent me and you can see for yourself just how well she nails this. Um, I don't think I really have anything else to say on that so now let's just get right into the hauling. First up we have The Last Blood Carver. This is by Vanessa Lee and this one it says Nika is a blood carver. She has the power to heal or harm with with just a touch. In Thumus, I apologise right now if I'm mispronouncing that, Nika is seen as a monster who kills for pleasure and her gift is highly prized in the city's criminal underworld. When Nika is finally captured, she is sold to the highest bidder, an aristocratic girl dressed in white, but her mysterious buyer is not looking for an assassin. She needs Nika to heal the only witness to her father's murder. And that sounds so good. Oh my god, this is actually one of the um, books I had on my most anticipated releases for the month it came out and I am so glad Hannah sent me this one because it sounds incredible. I love a dark tale, I also love this idea of being able to heal or harm within um, with just a touch and then also trying to figure out a murder, this kind of thing. It sounds absolutely incredible, the cover is gorgeous and I am so excited to read this one. You have no idea how excited I am to read this. There is also The Other Side of Never. This one is edited by Maria O'Regan and Paul Kane. And this one is Dark Tales from the World of Peter and Wendy. And I actually really, really enjoy a Peter Pan retelling. I won't lie. I am not the biggest fan of the original movie or any of the movies for that matter. But there is something about a Peter Pan retelling that just hits for me. I don't know what it is, but I just... I just love a Peter Pan retelling. I've got nothing else. I just love a Peter Pan retelling. And this one is um, a series of short stories by various authors, including A.C. Wise, who I know I really enjoy because I read her retelling Wendy Darling and really, really enjoyed it, and I really want the sequel to it. There is also stuff in here by Alison Littlewood, Guy Adams, Paul Finch, Muriel Gray, Claire North, Kirsty Logan, people like this, and I am so intrigued by this one. I am really excited to see exactly what they're going to do with Peter Pan and Wendy, especially as these are dark tales, because I love a dark retelling specifically about Peter Pan and Wendy, so I am really intrigued by this. Then there is Camp Damascus by Chuck Tingle, and this one has intrigued me for a while, and I think Hannah has uh, just given up and sent it to me, because she's been begging me to read this for a while now and it says love is real demons are real kill the demons which had to be already but then it goes on to say camp damascus nettled in the montana wilderness is the world's most effective gay conversion camp parents send their children from around the world to experience the program's 100 percent success rate but this story isn't about that this story is about rose darling a god-fearing young lady who can't stop puking up flies it's about her parents who, who ignore her visions of an eerie woman with sagging pale skin who watches from the woods it's about the desires deep inside Rose that don't seem to make any sense and her waking nightmares are beginning to feel more like memories. And maybe, just maybe, it's a little bit about Camp Damascus after all and this sounds so good and I think Hannah sold me on this by saying that one of the main characters is also autistic and goth and I was like, I'm in. Just give me all of the autistic characters, give me all of the goth characters and give me all of the horror. So this absolutely hit every single part of that brief and I am so ridiculous 
ridiculously excited to read this one. I mean, Hannah has been raving about this book. I've heard loads of people raving about this book. It sounds right up my alley. Proper spooky, proper creepy. Cannot wait to read it. Then there is Godly Heathens by H.E. Edgman, and this is another one that was on my wish list for a really long time. And it says on the back, Infatuation, Reincarnation, Damnation. Gem e Eccles is a non-binary seminal, I apologise right now if I've mispronounced that, teen living in the tiny town of Gracie, Georgia. Gem leans hard on charm to disguise the anxious mess they are um, beneath. The only person privy to their authentic self is another trans kid, Enzo, who's a thousand miles away in Brooklyn. But even Enzo doesn't know about Gem's dreams, haunting visions of magic and violence that have always felt too real. So when Willa Mae Hardy, the strange new girl in town, seems to know things about Gem that uh, they've never told anyone else, things start to get weird. After uh, someone claiming to be the goddess of death attacks Jem, Willa May confesses that she and Jem are reincarnated gods who've known and loved each other across lifetimes. But Jem, or at least who Jem used to be, hasn't always been the best god. They've made a lot of enemies and now an entire pantheon is coming for them. And if that wasn't enough to intrigue me, it also has a review on the back here from Andrew Joseph White who says that this is absolutely unhinged and I love an unhinged book. I won't lie, I love an unhinged book. I love the idea of dark gods and exploring reincarnation. I love the trans representation in here as well because I'm really trying to read more books with trans representation in it and all of this kind of thing and this just sounds in incredible i cannot wait to read this and then the final book i have is drop of venom by sajni patel and this one is a medusa retelling by way of indian mythology which had me immediately this was one of my most anticipated releases as well for the month it came out i think it was february if i remember rightly and i am so excited to read this one because i mean i love a retelling like like you can tell i love the idea of um, mixing two mythologies together with Medusa and Indian mythology. I love the idea. I love that this is also a floppy paperback and I'm just so excited to read this one. I am so excited to read this one. I'm excited to read all of these if you couldn't tell but this one specifically very excited for it. Then there's also three comics and I will say right now that if you do not like comics Hannah is not going to send you comics but she knows that I am a massive comic book nerd so she has sent me comics. The first one is I Feel Awful Thanks by Lara Pickle and this one is all about Joanna who is a young witch who has secured her dream job with a coven in London, her favourite city where she can dedicate herself to creating potions but she soon discovers the realities of city life aren't so idyllic. Um, finding an apartment is uh, is an ordeal her job is stressful her boss is a jerk and she's totally alone little by little she makes her place but fatigue sadness and doubts threaten to topple her hard-earned success until she starts talking to a professional and learns that in order to take care of herself she must know herself and this one is all about um self-acceptance this kind of thing the artwork is really um cute in here as well and i'm just really intrigued by this one because i do love stories about um like mental health and things like this and i do think this is going to be quite a reassuring read in a way so definitely excited to give this one a go i had admittedly not heard of it before so definitely intrigued by what this is going to be like then there is the fox maidens this one is by robin hart and this one is inspired by korean folklore and it's all about kai who dreams of being a warrior but she's looked down upon because she is a girl then when she tries to prove herself when assassins try to attack her family it turns out her parents are hiding a dark secret history with gamino i apologize right now if i've mispronounced that but the legendary nine-tailed fox demon and kai's own destiny is already written which sounds really really intriguing the artwork on the inside is very sort of muted but it looks really really cool and i'm just really intrigued by this one because i love the idea of fighting for your own destiny i also love the idea of exploring different types of folklore as i've said again in this video multiple times and this just sounds really really intriguing and then finally there is radiant black volume two because um hannah already sent me volume one and i really really enjoyed it she also sent me pretty deadly as well which i also really enjoyed and all of them are part of the same universe which is the massive verse which is um essentially image comics the publishers own superhero world and as we all know i am a massive superhero fan so that was really really intriguing to me and i love the first two volumes within this universe that i've read so i was desperate to continue on with it so hannah sent me the next one and also on the graphic novel front i also want to mention that i consider myself to be pretty up to date on graphic novel 
novels and knowing what's coming out this kind of thing and then somehow Hannah manages every single time she sends me a, a graphic novel to find something I never heard of before I don't know how she does it I think she's somehow magic I don't uh, otherwise I don't know how she's doing it but she's somehow doing this and every single time she has nailed my graphic novel taste and my book taste as well so I'm really really excited to be getting on and reading all of these and I cannot wait to be telling you exactly what I think about them when I've read them. And that is all of the books that Hannah has sent me recently that I haven't hauled as part of my Waypoint Books Full Moon subscription box. Um, I will leave a link down below if you want to check it out for yourself and if you do you can use the code BeccaFM23 at checkout to get 30% off your first box which is an absolute bargain because you're going to get two books you're going to really really enjoy and then 30% off your first box as well which is absolutely amazing. I'm also going to iterate here as well that if you don't like graphic novels Hannah's not going to send you graphic novels. If you like poetry she'll send you poetry. If you like sci-fi she'll send you sci-fi, contemporary, romance, whatever. Whatever the genres you like Hannah will find you books that you will absolutely love. She also ships worldwide as well so you don't have to worry about that. I think that's all I've really got to say in terms of Waypoint books otherwise I'm just going to be singing their praises which I do enough anyway so I think we're going to wrap this video up here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Comment down below, tell me which book I should start with. I'd love to know. Or if you don't have that much time, leave me a fox emoji down below to let me know that you're here. I'll also leave a link as well down below to all of my social media as well as Hannah's if you want to check that out. As well as a link as well down below to my bookish Etsy store if you want to check that out and treat yourself to something bookish today that is not a book. Or if you just want to see any more of my videos, please click subscribe here and over here will be the link to my previous video. Until next time everyone, bye!